Hey, hello everyone. Remake of an older video here because my other one gave off the wrong impression. This video is about video quality and the kind of quality that I'm talking about here that a lot of people seem to think make the video is the visual quality. So many people are saying like, hey, I should buy this HD camcorder because of the fact that it'll give me much better clarity and in turn my videos will be better. Yee! Well, obviously that's not the case. <laughs> the camera, or I should say your camera, is only a tool. How you use that tool is what makes the video. The camera doesn't take the video. Well, it does take the video. But I mean, when you press the button and when you point it at things, you are taking the video. And that's why I want to talk about this now, because I've been talking a lot about quality lately in my videos lately. I should say visual quality in my videos lately, so I thought it would just clear up some loose ends here. Dang it, I never feel I can get my posture right with this dang tilted bed behind me. Ah, whatever. Anyway, to further illustrate my point, allow me to do something here. Ah, 240p. Now this is how real men make videos. Okay, obviously it would look something like this, but it was just for the joke. <laughs> okay, now what I'm saying right here, if this video was in the clearest, highest possible HD that you could get, would that make the words that I'm saying right now any funnier, any more insightful, any more entertaining? No, it won't. And that's kind of the problem here. People are very focused on visual quality to the point that they will get another camera thinking that it'll make their videos better when they should really just be focusing on making their videos better with what they have. Now, if your videos aren't getting any views, that doesn't necessarily mean that your videos are bad or anything like that. It just means that you aren't being seen. <laughs> the, the YouTube of today pretty much keeps promoting the top YouTube channels over and over and over again in the most popular, most uh, subscribed, uh, most commented uh, of each different category, so to speak. So what happens is that they constantly keep getting in the spotlight while the little channels basically get none of it. And that's kind of the problem here, which is so discouraging to people and is probably what makes people have the drive to go get another camera, thinking that their videos will be better if they up their quality to the top dogs on YouTube, so to speak. But that's obviously not the case. And that's where I kind of went wrong in my first video, was I gave off the impression that if you... If you aren't getting any views or something like that, that means that you're doing a bad job, which is really not what I wanted to give off. So I took the video down to remake it later, and this is that video right now. Apologies for the confusion. Okay, so you get the point. You don't need the highest quality equipment to make awesome videos. You don't need to go out and buy uh, Adobe After Effects or Sony Vegas to improve your videos. Windows Movie Maker or iMovie could edit your videos just as well. Well, you know, they're basic editors, of course, and you can't really do, like, special effects and stuff like that in them. But if you're, if you're into special effects, you almost always already have Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects, and you know what you're doing in videos. So right now, just stick with the classic, easier, smaller, basic video editors, basically. Oh, and whatever camera that you've got around, whether it's a webcam, a Canon, Nikon, any decent camera out there, whatever you've got, just use that. And if it doesn't meet your needs, then upgrade to another better camera, basically. Whoa, we're back in HD. I have no idea how that happened this time. Anyway, that concludes this video. I hope I was insightful enough for you to give you perhaps a little more encouragement that what you have is indeed good enough. Oh, and I should mention, if anyone complains about the visual quality of your videos, just tell them to stuff it. Because if they're going to complain about something so petty, to, you know, that they would want you to buy something to make them happy, well, you can just tell them to buy it for you. <laughs> See, the idea, once you turn it around on them, then it's like, uh-oh, now, uh, uh, yeah, that, that is kind of a factor, they'll think, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.